All right, so I've been screwing around with the Evap Air Cooler a little more. This is going to be the final version. All right, so the improvements I've made so far, got rid of the shower curtain rings, most of them anyway. Went with wire. That holds a little tighter. Added the crossbar so the pad doesn't bow out towards the fan. That's optional, but it certainly helps. And I added the 10-gallon tub instead of the 7 -er. That basically means instead of changing, adding the water every three to four hours, now I can do it every six to seven hours, so that's pretty awesome. And I went ahead and widened it by about five inches, so it used to be an 18-inch pad, now it's a 23-inch pad. And on the pipe at the top, the hole spacing on the underside of the pipe used to be one and a half inches. Now it's a one sixteenth inch hole every inch instead of inch and a half. See how tight the wire holds it. When these pads get to a certain size, they kind of want to bow out in the middle. That's about it. If you want to see the original, just check my channel and I'll put the link in the description below. The wood, the tote, the PVC, and the pad I all got from Harbor Freight. I mean Home Depot. And the pump and the wheels I got from Harbor Freight. And I think this is going to be the final version. Not sure if I mentioned it before, but those wheels, that's just a plastic mover's dolly from Harbor Freight definitely worth using because a gallon weighs almost nine pounds so if you got that filled with ten gallons of water huh, unless you got a good back mine's not good enough and the wheels just cost like ten bucks again this thing is just light as a feather it weighs like nothing I actually tried to weigh it on a scale it doesn't even register just drop it in you can keep the pump connected by the way too it just hangs on there And again, just have the plastic shroud for the optimal cooling.